Are we rolling? Yep. Welcome back. Okay. Alright, well. Goosh. 14. Goosh. Plus 2. Got it. <clears throat> so you can, you can hear uh, the sound of, of wind, uh, like, sh- kind of blowing through the space above you. Go kill Bill. And, yeah, yeah. And you see, uh, you can, like, it is scattering, again, some of the, like, smaller debris, but, like, the bigger chunks, there's just no way for you to really move those. You cast Move Earth again. Stone Shape. Stone Shape. Uh, so I can, I can and it makes another little uh, five foot cubby. Get while well, you're a dwarf, so you have an innate sense of direction underground. Uh, which way are you moving? Here, are you moving towards this way? Moving up. Up. I'm trying to move towards where I hear this wind. <clears throat> okay, so you kind of start to. So I can stand now. Work your way up. Well, you can. You could stand in the five foot cubby you made. Depending on which direction I made the cubby, I made it like a coffin. Oh, well then, yeah, okay. I was just trying to fall into right. it because there was something falling on me. Right. Uh, so you kind of open it up um, some more. You, I guess, now that you have access to this, you, you're kind of continuously casting it round by round by round. Making little, uh, like, footholds for myself to making slowly walk up. How far up are you trying to go? I don't know how far up, how how much stone has fallen on me. I mean, I gotcha. I mean, I can do a history <laughs> check to see how long the stone's been there, but right. Let's just keep doing that because we're running out of time. Um, the as as you're uh, <coughs> starting to make more and more holes, you actually are like like kind of s- handholds and clearing the space and everything. Um, you can see that underneath you, it's starting to like pour in more steadily because of um, more space, more space and stuff. Um, I know what I could do. I could do one big ass flame strike directly over my head <laughs> and blow it out. Give me <laughs> before we do that, because you're like anchors of all your eyes. Climbing and and casting and at kind of the same time. Give me an athletics check. Oh, good. I'm actually good at those. Because you're trying to hold on and cast stone shape at the same time. Twenty-two. Twenty-two is plus nine. Good. To it's athletics. good. Very good. Okay, so you know, again, you keep moving up. Um, you can see that it. You know, again, it's it's continuously kind of pouring in. Uh, you can see, you air elemental Nagri can see that um, the small trickle that there was when it kind of broke open uh, is like pouring in because it's kind of broke open from whatever underground pool was was kind of above it and. You, know, you keep climbing up. It's taking a while, just because there's so much stone. Should I flame strike? You can, sure. I mean, if you want to. I mean, I can blow something up. I mean, or I can use spiritual weapon and just like pickaxe my way up too. You also have the hammer. Also have the hammer. Uh, all right. So I've got options. I just I, don't know what option's gonna work. Right. Well, Are you guiding bolt. You don't. You haven't tried anything. <laughs> yet. You've only done stone check. I tried guiding bolt. At sixth level, okay, because <laughs> I can with all this Artek around. Me. And you're going to uh, with the hammer. Well, guiding bolt. I'm just shooting straight up. Okay, out of my holy holy symbol. So that's just a ranged spell attack. Mm-hmm. I guess. Has enough of the debris moved yet that I can see part of him? You can hear him. <laughs> <Natural 20. laughs> nice. <clears throat> All right. How, how much damage is that? Um, seventy-six. I believe. 
No, I'm sorry. There's four to start with, and then an additional 1d6 for each level above first, so nine d6. So it's going to be 9d6 plus, uh, we'll say it's a crit. Because that's an attack, right? A yeah, spell attack. Spell attack. Um, that is a crit. So 9d6, uh, 9 times 6 is 36. Yes? 9 times 6 is 54. 54. I'm bad at math. Uh, I'm bad at math. So, 6 yeah. times 6 is 36. Roll those. Roll, roll them to our damages. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of fives. Five, and one. ten, fifteen, two ones. twenty, three ones. Uh, Twenty-six, two. seven, eight, nine, thirty-one. Thirty-one. All right. Uh, now, great, you oh, see a... Oh, the guy a, a uh, Is this like a bolt of light? Yeah. It's, it's not It's It's, it's the same... Big. No, it's the same spell that... Uh, um, Pike likes to use. I got it's the it. one that gives advantage when you hit the same spot. Someone else makes an attack against that same spot. Okay, fair enough. So you see this the shaft of light shoot up through the stone. Okay. Uh, shoot through the stone. Now you would technically, if you wanted to like hit the same place, you have advantage because guiding bolt. Uh, it's got a nice retroactive glow there, so you can so like you know approximately where he is, kind of, like, where you are at this point, from... Now, so, with the hole that he, sh like, did I shoot a hole straight up through the stone? Yes. I've got air! So, can I look down now and see him? Uh, it's a tiny hole. That's, but can yeah. I see him? Okay. So, I'm going to go over to that hole, go out of my wind elemental form, and cast Wind Walk on both of us, so we both turn oh. into two little balls of air... Like when elementals and can can just fit through cracks, our movement speed becomes three hundred. How long does that take to cast? One action. <coughs> Lasts eight hours. Yeah. Okay. To revert back, it takes a minute, and we can't attack or do anything. Got but it. We hey, can move. that's that's uh, that's sure. fair enough. All right. So. So you you kind of you, you feel this wind come through the little tiny. What the bloody hell is that? Pinpoint hole. <laughs> It coalesces into Nagri, and then he like grabs you, and then you feel yourself becoming insubstantial gas uh, as Ooh. as, 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 as uh, and you uh, you're now air, which is great, and you can uh, obviously as air you just kind of fit fit through the cracks now. You have an innate sense of direction, so you know approximately where you need to go. So you can kind of, he can follow you. And, and you make your way. <laughs> you can't speak or anything. I know. I'm uh, trying to make wind noises. Shh. Yeah. <laughs> you make your way <clears throat> over here to where they are. Um, they all have, at least those who are concerned, have concerned looks on their faces. The elephant doesn't give a shit. And, uh, <laughs> and Corey's asleep. Corey's asleep. <laughs> uh, yep. And I'm not about, dead. about a minute later, you both uh, recoalesce, and it's er, you know becomes substantial again. I'm not dead. Yeah, it's he's like not yeah. Dead. yeah, I did something Ooh. useful. Ooh. Good that, job. That was that was good. With time to spare. Good job. Hey, we didn't run out the clock. That's good. Hey, us. Uh, you do see. Too bad we can't loot the big worm. So why can't we? We have to go back in. Okay. That'll take a lot of time. Yeah. And spells. To we had to, uh, to, you know, uncover it. And it doesn't have loot. Oh. Okay. But it is flesh. Yeah, I mean, it is a big, beefy creature. You could harvest goodies from it, but a lot of smithing XP. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, gathering the gathering the goodies does not improve smithing. Stupid. Smelting. I got a, doesn't improve smithing. I got a uh, mod that uh, that uh, lets you gives you armor experience for for tanning leather. Gives you armor experience because it's part of the process. That's interesting. You mean smithing or armor? 
Or, uh, smithing. Yeah, sorry. Armor. That's, that, that's a good oh. line. We're talking Skyrim, by the way. Uh, yeah. Which is dope. I'm going to play some more once we're done here. Work on the Mage's Guild. <laughs> anyway, uh, you're now all back together. Injured. Many of you are injured. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. I had a whole room dropped on me and I lost no health. <laughs> <laughs> that is proof enough that the Goddess of Stone is looking out for you. Even though you didn't do the appropriate... Uh, you didn't roll well enough on the Divine Invention, uh, it's still kind of worked she out. She was taking a call from another cleric. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta uh, hold music when I try to call. You hold hold music, Divine yeah. Intervention from a druid. AT&T hold music to be precise, because that shit's awful. Um, <laughs> it's kind of creepy looking, but... Cephalosk is uh, seems like he's smiling. Weirdly enough, it just it's 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 weird, but he he seems like you can see in his eyes he's he's very pleased that it's dead. Um, Please don't smile. You look really weird when you do that. <laughs> you are all really powerful. Yeah, think about that when you when you think about Destinus. No, it's good. We need that. Elder Bray. Don't you wish you could kind of talk to him our heads? Because his voice just sounds I ridiculous. I love his voice. <laughs> nah, I have no problem with his that's voice. A little, that's Stay a little out of my relief head. to our, <laughs> our adventures. I mean, if you want to take your helmet off and let him in your head. Nope. Nope. You go for nope. it. Nope. <laughs> that is all on you, bud. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Yeah, you should do it. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now at this point, Does he want a death dancer. You have achieved. <laughs> oh God! Please don't give him a death dancer. You have achieved the first stage, I guess, of the goal. We took care of the cleansing. That you did. <clears throat> Neither us or any other goodly creature died. You don't know, that could have been a good guy. You are... Uh, <laughs> He's just very misunderstood. Hustling down the passageway on your way toward... Hold on, can we take like five minutes to sit down? Yes. Okay. Uh, you can take a short rest. It's about... I'm going to need a long rest. It's about 20-ish miles. Yeah, I'm going to need a long take. rest. Unless, unless an Arctic can also replenish my spell slots. To get to <laughs> the... Uh, to the that's definitely longer. Like you're, you're not making twenty miles in a day. No. Not not in the underdark for sure. So you're gonna have a day, uh, like like a night's rest. Uh, at, at which point you can use hit dice to heal, spells cast, of course. Uh, we'll say for the sake of brevity, that you are all returned to. Woo! Hit points. Um, who is on watch? Because you do not sleep in the dark without watch. Right. Hey, so let's put the mind player on this. Is this considered a long rest? Because I have a level of exhaustion. No. It will be long <laughs> rest. <laughs> By the way, everyone levels up. Yes! <gasps> to level 13. We're so good at this. I will Milestone it. achieved. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Did I get anything fun at 13? What are the watches? Nope. Alright, so eight hours is long rest, right? Oh, it works. Hell yeah. Eight hours is long rest. What? Well, I just got seven level spells. <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, well, I'm totally on rest. I only need four hours to, or on, on watch. I only need four hours of sleep, so. Okay, so well, you're gonna. You are, are you doing like the last part? Or the first part. How did we do it last time? We kind of had a. Don't the elves. Can't the elves do something where they like. They can trans for four hours. No. They four trans hours. for four hours. We did. How did we do it? It's called. Reverie? I think in. Uh, well, no. In just. Realms the, mode. Just it's called the, Reverie. This is called trance. Yeah. No, how we did the. The watch last time. It worked out really well. Let's see. 13. The it means it was 
It was Psy and somebody. Red. And then I took Probably over Blaine. the middle. Probably Belena. Belena was never with us. No. No. <laughs> Usually assume Belena was not there. Yeah. Professor Tsubasuke is up? No. Oh boy? It does? Oh, no. Mine does. So yeah, so I've seen her. Sleep. 18 spell DC. Everyone, I, I, I do believe that everyone gets more proficiency bonus. Yeah. Yes, we're at a plus Goes five. Goes up to five. Holy shit. Yeah, buddy. I can cast Resurrection now. We'll say for the sake of this that Eisen Schmidt and uh, Sai are on the final watch because you trance early and then you have. Yeah. You only have to do four hours. Okay. So some other group of you does. It's probably broken up. Into because uh, like we'll say that six hours of rest will, will constitute a full rest because you have to have watches <laughs> so uh, you kind of split it up the very final watch towards the end before uh, everyone starts getting up and you start having breakfast ration type stuff and what about second breakfast? Yeah, Eisen Schmidt and Sai to give me perception checks. Oh my favorite. Size jam. So. Yep. I got yeah, it is twenty. Oh. I got an, I got that eighteen, but that plus ends up being a plus ten. So twenty eight. I got twenty. I got twenty, but it's twenty five. Okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. We see the thing. Yeah. You do. We don't fuck around with our watches. Specifically, you hear. You're in kind of this um, cave sort of room that's kind of off, off to the side of the path that you're taking. You're about, I would say at this point, you're about eight miles or so from the hive mind. And you hear. How much time do we have? Seven minutes. Seven and a half minutes. Well, Terrell wants his real life back and give it to him now. <laughs> Regeneration. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> that would be kind of like... We could amputate the one I gave him. Yeah, but you prayed for that and it happened, so... <laughs> my god might get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> she may not give you the... Grant you the power. I have been waiting. Oh, balls. Uh, you. Who ruined my first base. Do you know this guy? Oh, shit. Is that Lynch? Oh, God. Wait, did somebody say Lynch? Yeah, we. You. Oh, hell. I'm not oh, with him! Oh, my. Perfect. Wake the other minions. <laughs> um, I'm not with them. Um. So so before before I wake them up, is there any way I can tell if that might be like a spell through a voice or if it's like you? Voice? That's a great question. Um, you can not see this particular beastie. Well, it can't be talking in our minds. Uh, it is not talking in your minds because it doesn't have body heat because it's a. Dead. Well, dark vision is. I'm oh, good uh, against undead. I am awesome against undead. Uh, so dark vision is different now than it was originally. It's uh, not. It's not infravision. It's, it's not infravision anymore. No, it's like grayscale. Grayscale. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can summon sunlight. <laughs> yeah, so I still. I can turn. I still like the concept of oh, okay. like infravision better. Personally. Yeah. I think it makes more sense. Yeah. But I don't know what turn undead really does, but. I d and I doubt this thing is lower than a CR. Sergey! <laughs> Sergey! <laughs> Come on, buddy! Are y'all gonna wake us up? Or yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, we're yeah, trying to yeah. um, I want to know how, like, maybe it's, it's not that close. So. This room is not particularly large, per se. It's probably. Maybe twenty foot radius, a little offshoot from from the hallway. 
Um, you do have a spell, Magic Smith, that you've never used uh, that may come in handy here as a death elf. I know the spell. Fairy Fire. I knew that spell. Yeah. I was. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. Reveals invisible creatures. Well, and gives advantage. Well, if they're think, like within. I don't. Range. It's a. It's twenty feet. Here's the thing. I don't think it reveals invisible. Yeah, it creatures. does. That's the whole point of Fairy Fire. I have it as well. Yeah, and it gives three times a day. Yeah, it gives you advantage on your deck rolls. It gives it. Yeah. So and this building doesn't do shit. Each, my, uh, each object. Gear. Right. Fairy Flutter, right? Yep. It has to fail a deck saving throw, though. Right. I think I can give it disadvantage on this. So what do you two do? After hearing this voice. <laughs> <coughs> it's just the voice. You're dreaming. Go to bed. I'm going to... You should go wake them up. Okay. I'd like to stealthily do that. Like, quietly so as to not, like, agitate. Or all my stealth check. Alright, yeah. Let's start. Are you waking the rest of us up? Yeah. Stealthily. Or all By saying, remember that thing we killed one time? <laughs> um, the idiots took out the lich and didn't take out the phylactery. We didn't know where the... Yeah, apparently yeah, the phylactery is here in the middle yeah, of the we found Underdark. It. <laughs> yeah, um, we're here. We found so, it. <laughs> so I couldn't tell how close that voice came from, like, proximity-wise? No. I mean, it sounded, like, close by, but like, pretty close. We're in, the, we're in a cave. You're in a cave, so there's a lot of reverb Acoustics. Get it. Uh, can it? Can it? Yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and throw out some fairy fire. So I'm so I'm going to and I'm going room. to I'm going to quietly go around and start waking everybody and like do like the whole like hand how, over their mouth like wake how, up don't speak. How big is the room? Get like, is it, it's a twenty get ready. foot cube. <laughs> get so, ready. So what I'm everybody. guessing, or yeah. what I want to do is if it's smaller than that, maybe like just kind of push it out to like the like edge of the tunnel just for extra. All right, I'm gonna draw it out for you guys. Um, it's about it's like okay, we're out, all right, kind of thing. Um, and you're all about except there. for me, we're on the like. Uh, We're outside of the room. Essentially, yeah. I don't... Should I use the other one? Yeah, well, you're off right now. Should I use the other one? Because the big <laughs> creature... would be glowing. That's not good. I mean, y'all would have felt something <clears throat> slip past you, right? I'm pretty sure it can't fit there. Like, I'm pretty sure it's just so, yeah. And so, like, you guys were, like, blocking off the, the area. So it's got to be in front of you. I'm going to use fairy fire. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Can I, can I tell maybe which direction the voice was coming from? Um... You're a bard. Give me a. Give me. A, you know what? Give me a performance roll. Uh, you understand the, in the intricacies of sound as a bard? 22. <coughs> yes, he does. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can kind of tell that it is coming from that direction. I'm going to cast Fair Fire right about here. Okay. Yeah, that gives me basically that whole corridor. Uh, and it's totally going to be purple because I like purple and purple rain. Okay. Purple. All right. I did that by one of my hair. What is this? What did we find? I think you actually have one of those, don't you? 
Tracy? Say what? What's your armor class? Uh, 16. Okay. That's, right. uh, that's time. We'll, we'll deal with this real quick. It's still purple, though. It is lined in purple flames, and it's going to get you. What for is that? Oh, 12 cold damage. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I need um, the PHP. I'm good with those, not really. We're going, uh, this will be the last one because it's late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the last round or we're just going to pick up here? You're the one. I want to use luck point. Okay. You got, you, you, you need to that. And that has reset. So, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> two. Not a one. Not a one. <laughs> All right. That's actually a uh, a four. Thank you. All right. Um, when he when it touches you, you feel yourself freeze up. Okay. Not like ice frozen. Like a, a fear. Uh, like paralysis. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're paralyzed for one minute. You can make the save. Okay. Uh, we'll get to that. <clears throat> and with that... Can I speak? Uh, I believe you can. I found it. <laughs> uh, Here it is. <laughs> I, I don't know if you can speak, so I'm checking that now. It's this guy again. Uh, you cannot move or speak. So no, you can't speak. With that... We will end this. Uh, we will end tonight's session. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Leveled up, leveled up, and we're all gonna die again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of this because I need it. Keep in mind, I can win. Walk us all out of here. I was successfully woken people at this point. Huh? Uh, we'll we'll get to that next time. Alrighty. All right, everyone. Uh, good game. It's been a good session. You're all level 13 now. Woo! Yeah. I yeah. would. I'm going to try to come early next session to deal that. I would not recommend that you what? fight this thing. What about the lich? <laughs> For obvious reasons. Uh, hey, I can, I can turn on dead. You know shit hits the fan when the thing you're about really? to fight is your same height. Good luck with that. Like it, because by any game logic, is the, if the thing is our height... We should not fight it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo. Neat. We did it. We did it. We did. Go ahead and end the recording. All right. I'll go we will be it. back uh, in a couple of weeks. Later.